Hello everyone, time to grind here, and today we are back with some more crab champions. Uh, last time we played right, we had that uh, really, really awesome fun build where we pretty much were getting like borderline infinite chests. Uh, we did a bunch of mega crit stuff, uh, and we're just gonna keep having more fun, right? Uh, using weapons we haven't gotten to use in a while, and this time we're gonna go to the mart or the cluster launcher, and I think the cluster launcher looks a little bit different too. I don't remember if it always looked like this, but either way, yeah, I think the cluster launcher definitely looks new, to be honest. Uh, but either way, we're doing it. We're going to use the black hole grenades, and we're going to start with layered grenade. Chance for grenades to explode twice. So, uh, cluster grenade, uh, or cluster launcher, maybe do grenade build as well. I don't know. I could, I could see a lot of different fun stuff going on here. Um, but, uh, yeah, just, just going to see how we can break the game, right? It's, it's, honestly, there's so much depth. Um, in the game now, especially thanks to like the enhancements, even though like, you know, we've talked about, uh, you know, some of those things, hopefully, uh, you know, obviously getting improved on in the future and I'm sure they will. Um, just, I don't know. There's so much more variety now. So many different types of builds you can get, uh, just for us to have fun, you know, it's a chance for, uh, to, actually, you know what? Grenades, more damage, spiral patterns, glue grenade. Okay. I could do glue grenade. I could be fine with glue grenade. Cause I don't know. Maybe we try to do some grenade stuff. Wait. Was that? Why did that one break? Uh, we'll do health chest here. Um, but I don't know. Grenades, grenades could definitely be cool. Turn into cluster grenade. I mean, there's there's a lot lot of different uh, stuff that we could do here. Uh, and I am okay. Uh, okay, just uh, having fun playing this game. Right? It's hard to uh, art. Ah, hard. Ah! I just wanted to. Dis I actually don't think I can destroy that up there. I think the cluster launcher is actually, wow. Cluster launcher is actually a little bit, a uh, little bit too short of, oh, I finally got it, Never mind. I was gonna say short range. Also, um, one of our awesome uh, community members, uh, Cyril, has been uh, uh, putting crab facts on all of the uh, episodes of the whole series on the playlist. Um, as he's been watching them, and he, he, gave, he gave us a crab fact live. Oh, wait, was... What was that? I don't even know what that was. But it was that whenever your car breaks, always call a crab. They're always handy in a pinch. <laughs> oh, it's crab fun, a pun slash fact. So I was, I, I misrepresented that. That was a, that was a pun. Uh, okay, we're gonna, uh, heal and damaging, sure. Relic chest is probably better than two damage chests, honestly. So, don't really know what we're doing with this build quite yet, but to be honest, we are on Island 3. It's like, uh, you know, if, uh, if, if I had a kid and he was like one years old, and I was like, hey, you gonna be a doctor or a lawyer? Which one? Pick one now. And I like hold up like two baby books, whichever one he walks to. Uh, I will just um, always pressure him to do that, and if he ever thinks that he's gonna like, um, you know, like figure out life on his own. I'm going to like verbally berate him. And uh, yeah, that's what, that's what we're going to do. Uh, I don't know where I'm going. I'm sorry. I'm going crazy. Uh, gain an extra portal choice. Sure. Um, you know what? You know what? I, I was just reminded about a comment that someone left on one of my last Crab Champions videos. Telling me that I should try to do a run where I go as many greed chests as I can. What happens if I fall down here? Can I come back? Am I forever stuck in this pond? No, I'm fine. That's crazy. Um, so we're going to go greed. You know what? Might as well. What happens if we just take every greed we can? Glass cannon. Damage it massively increased, but we lost most of our health. Well, that's... That's that's a that's quite the starter right there for us. <laughs> But, uh, you know what? Sure, what happens? What happens if I just take every single greed uh, chest that I can? What then? What then? So, glass cannon, I mean, pretty nice for cluster bombs or grenades or whatever. We have a little bit of healing as well. Problem is, it's pretty much like anything's gonna, like, anything big is gonna hurt us quite a lot. Well, we're going for it. It's an experiment. Greed build. Everybody everybody in chat going, finally, greed builds. 
I know, I know. Especially because I am someone that is a little bit resistant to greed builds. Juiced. Streamer loot. Uh, I'll go streamer loot here. And I'm going to go health chest here. Because for right now, I'm going to try to mitigate... Uh, oh gosh. I mean, we're about to die here, though. Like, that's that's just straight up. <laughs> like, I don't know how I'm going to survive this, but I'm trying. We do heal a little bit. What you want, bitch? I think he wants to kill me. I don't, I don't know why I have that feeling. I think he wants to kill me. Okay, health chest. Man, I don't like these. <sighs> armor for now, even though it's gonna be it's gonna be the most useless armor ever. Okay, flawless random chest. I think because of glass cannon. Nope, we lost our flawless. Fuck me. Ah. Dude, glass cannon's stressing me out right now. There's a reason I don't take green chests. <laughs> Because I can do just fine without them. But, uh, I'm giving the people what they want, allegedly. Uh, okay, we're going to take a bunch of money right before this shop here. And we get a free crystal combo. Okay. I suppose. I suppose. Uh, glue grenade, light shot shock enemies. Uh, gain more max heart from hearts. Max health from hearts. Um. Ugh. Do I have anything enhanceable? I don't. Uh, gamble. 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 Snake shot. I don't know if that was worth it. You know, I was gonna say greed is good for the legendary that gets a chest every 200 enemies because you can get greed perks to spawn more enemies. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's see how we do it against an elite here. Oh my god! I was like, about to say we were doing kind of decent because of the damage. Okay, got one. We, we do do a lot of damage. And we also die very easily. <laughs> okay, okay, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, I am gonna go ahead and switch back to Ice Blast here, but we're, we're continuing the greed challenge here, though. Uh, starting with piercing shots. I don't... Okay. I don't really know fully how this goes here. So this is greed attempt number two. Eat. Eat. Okay. Damage increase for each armor plate. Shots do more damage for each shot fired until stopping fire. Okay. Recoil is fine. I can handle recoil. Uh, gamble with seven tokens. Fourteen crystals. Ultra shot. Okay. That's worth it. Uh, luck chest here. I, I know, it did say I killed myself. I don't know if that's because I destroyed that barrel that was near me. So that counted as me as, as killing me killing myself. So hopefully we can get some greed stuff here. Right, it always offers me a million greed things that I never take. So of course the one time that I like Say I want greed. I'm sure the game's not going to give us greed, but... Um, yeah. Okay. Um, uh, <clears throat> luck. Oh, we got another relic spawn. Um, rigged totems. Sure. Sure. I think this ice is going to help out a lot more. Because it does a similar thing the black holes for us, keeping people in place, but we can use it way more often. Um, the more I think about, I don't know, I love black hole, but it's starting to not become my favorite anymore, because, I don't know, sometimes that cooldown is a lot to deal with. 
It's a very big cooldown. Are you shitting me? Starfish, man. Getting to me here today. Now greed chests are nice because you can pick what you want or just sell it. Yeah, greed's a lot. Greed totems are a lot better, or chests are a lot better than totems. Reload speed increased. Extra portal choice. So, it, almost exactly what happened last time. Uh, we'll do luck here again. Yeah, it's always hard for me to kind of tell if uh, if I think piercing helps or hurts a weapon. These people in the comments have claimed that they always help. You know, except like where case scenarios like or a shot, but I don't know. Sometimes like the rocket launcher, I don't feel it. Here I think it's fine. But I don't know. Maybe I just haven't been able to tell on the rocket launcher either. I also wish greed totems could give you greed items you already have. Yeah, we've heard about that. That sometimes, yeah, you it, it, it won't. Uh, rig totems. Okay. Um, XL mirrored projectiles. Upgrade chest. I don't really have much to upgrade. I mean, maybe piercing shot, but... Um, yeah, I'll do an upgrade chest. If we get an upgrade on piercing, it'd be kind of nice. Could be kind of nice. I'm trying to break the thing up there. Oh! Okay, here's how we do it. I just want to <laughs> destroy the... Oh, did I do it? I did do it. A speedy starfish, everybody. A lot of skulls here. There's a lot of enemies. This wasn't even like the double enemies. Like, I guess I was focusing on the stuff up there for a while, so. Definitely pretty fair. Still feel like it's taking us a while. Ah! Why is this one taking me so long? <sighs> okay. I see a serial. Ah, okay, so we didn't get the upgrade that we wanted. Um, I'm gonna keep doing rig totems, and if we don't get a payoff, we'll probably lose the run, but I'm trying. Uh, we'll do random. I don't- random can't be greed though, I don't think. I feel like random should be able to be greed. Like, there should be a small chance that, like, one of the options is a greed perk. Because then sometimes, like, you might actually get offered, even if you're someone like me who doesn't do a lot of greed perks. Normally. See, I don't know. I don't know if I'm just getting stuck in my head. I feel like the piercing's not helping. Because I feel like sometimes it would it would it would hit them, it would bounce off, and then it would maybe bounce again on them. Or it would sit next to them. But here, like, I don't know. That's it just sometimes feels like piercing just doesn't actually help. Yeah, I think this is gonna be a lost run here, probably. Unless we find some totems to make up for all of our perks being the totem thing. Um, driller, destroying stuff. Okay, okay, we got a bunch of stuff here. Okay, okay. Gang crystals, lose some health. Gang crystals, lose some health. Our, to our things, okay, gamble for 125. 250. I have like four rig totems! What are you talking about? 75% more likely. That should- Oh, what are you talking about? Crystals each paycheck. Oh, there is a greed totem, though. Max health and damage increase, but I grow larger. Um, Gamble. You give me a rigged totems? I cannot believe you, game. You're gonna enhance ultra shot with homing. I cannot believe you, game. 
Okay, we gotta we gotta tow him over there. We have homing on ultra shot, but we just this build doesn't really have any anything now. That totem has some snark. That totem can fucking die. Dude. Because I just, I've been taking nothing but rig totem. My build is nothing. Except this piercing shot that I swear is hurting me. I need a rig totem to actually pay out for this build to be something here. have one greed perk. We're gonna obviously hope to find more. The, the one we got I actually like. Getting bigger. Not normally that bad. Yeah, sometimes you get hit by more projectiles, but it's not normally that bad. Oh, man. Oh, my God, man. We took so much damage right at the end, which is gonna pretty much prevent me from using this really well. Crystals lose health. Crystals lose health. If we find a banana, I'm gonna love that. Okay, double vision. Piercing wave. Okay, orbiting scythes. Heart. Hurt myself for money. Okay. If we can somehow recover from this, maybe. Orbiting scythes is definitely going to help. Orbiting scythes might actually help carry us. Uh, till this first shop or something. Orbiting scythes is ridiculous. Definitely one of the perks that, like... I could maybe see getting nerfed in the future. But I don't know. I also don't want the devs to just nerf everything that's fun. So, I don't know. Damage. Increase distant enemies. Recoil shot. Sure. And we're going to go just health chest here. Because I know if I just am at 100 HP with zero healing. Also, there is some totems here. There is some totems. Dude, these scythes are going to make things a lot easier for a little bit here. As long as we can figure out our health situation, then hopefully we'll be okay. Okay, scythes go burr. Or do they? I don't know where they are. <laughs> okay. No, fuse is, uh, fuse is like bright yellow. Fuse is a similar to color to the, the legendary one. Gain one armor plate at the start of every three islands. Absolutely. Okay, we got gamble. Recoil shot. Rig totems. Okay, I'm not paying 854. Chance-based totems are 125% more likely to roll in my favor. Loot totem, we lost 20 health. Though I'm at, at 15 health, I didn't really think that through. Maybe I'll gamble one more time. Uh, yeah, I really didn't think this through being at 15 HP here. Really didn't think this through. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's fine. On to it again here. Sniper turrets. Sure. Okay, third time's the charm here, right? Third time's the charm. Yeah. That rig totem stuff would have been nice. I feel like it just took a little bit too long to go online, right? I felt like I needed to play super risky there. Wow. That sniper turret must have done a lot. Bounce. Okay, bouncing shot. I could do a bouncing shot. Uh, economy here. Build some economy early on. So we're back to zero greed. Oh, oh, that's a, that's a, uh, one of those is a uh, fragile one. Blast totem. Okay, took a little bit of damage. It's okay. Why am I at above max HP? I'm at 309 max HP. Don't you start at 300? Unless they got buffed. Yeah, see you, man. Special delivery gain crystals when oh money shot, money shot, money shot. One of those was a relic, but 
Okay, we gambled for nothing. Banana. Random. Oh, jeez. Get out of here, mister. <sighs> oh, the health rocks. You're right, you're right. Hello there from Finland. Hey, that's crazy. Welcome, uh, welcome, welcome. Do you know if Crab Champions will come to consoles? I believe that is the goal. Uh, but it's probably going to be something after early access, right? Because the dev's just working on making the game the best it can be. Uh, fully heal when entering shops. Man, I just remembered we had just gotten that relic that gave us one armor every three. Uh, also, yeah, elemental explosions, one hit. Yeah, we're going to do a one hit because if I lose early on, whatever. If I take a single damage, we're dead. But so do they. Okay, two elemental chest, random D. Okay, we'll do random shot and poison shot. Okay, okay. Two elemental. Do a little bit of gambling. Wind up. More damage for each shot fired until stopping firing. I'm not going to gamble anymore. Yeah, the nighttime maps are awesome. We'll do luck chest early on here. Oh, it's so pretty now, though. Us firing all these different, like, elemental... Because the cluster bombs themselves change colors. And whoop-de-whoop. -whoop. And whoop. We got the ice, too. Nice grenade. <sighs> okay. Wish I could see how much damage our sniper was actually doing. Uh, okay, we're gonna take rigged totems. <laughs> it's totally what we need. I want the health chest. Maybe get some uh, health scaling stuff going on. These elemental effects. Elemental cluster grenades are something we've uh, definitely done before, but I always love it. Always a very satisfying build. What going on? Coming from downtown! Okay. Uh, chance for enemies to drop health pickups, I guess for the time being. We fully heal every shop, though. <gasps> hurt, hurt ourselves. We get money. Nice, that triggered a couple times. Auto heal back up. Does lower our max HP when doing that, though. Uh, come on, give me something good, though. Turret damage increase. I'm not biting. I'm not taking the bait. Money shot. Don't have anything that can be enhanced. Gain an armor plate if starting an island with no armor. Absolutely. Are you kidding me? Nah, I am going to get two sniper turrets. <laughs> Are you for real? You should be able to enhance the turrets. So now I do wish I had taken the up sniper damage. Oh, there's our armor. I just gotta get all these elemental effects stacking. Right, all of this elemental stuff, especially the poison, should really be helping us with uh, bosses here. So I'm kind of struggling a little bit. Got the skull, though. But there's still a ton of um, barrels everywhere. Snipers will get his ass. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Salvage. A gemstone. Yep. Damage increased after clearing each island. Uh, there's no point to taking armor because I get free armor if I have no armor. So. This 
So build going okay. Um, our health isn't great. We also don't have any greed perks here, which is kind of the point. Allegedly. But I don't know, maybe this build just ends up being like an elemental turret build. I don't know. I'm gonna try the greed stuff later. I'm still gonna try though, but you know. You guys know roguelikes, can't always force things. Um, shots do more damage, just straight up. Okay, uh, spike chest. It's like, I just, I so wish I could know how much the sniper turrets are doing. Change the code to greed totem. <laughs> Being more likely. See, I feel like the second people start doing that, and to an extent, like, save scum stuff as well, like, to me, that's, like, when the game stops being fun, right? Like, because it's, like, <clears throat> uh, you know, part of, like, a roguelike is, like, oh, man, dude, what if, what if, like, you did have a run, you had, like, all these greed builds, or greed items, that'd be really cool, and it's, like, shit, that would be cool, and it's, like, something you try, and then if you can actually get it accomplished, it's really satisfying, but kind of forcing everything that you want. Uh, definitely taking bubble shot here. Uh, we're gonna go economy chest. Haven't seen no greed yet. Make the game harder. I dropped a banana. So yeah, we're getting, we have way more damage. We're getting more damage every uh, wave. Our damage is really good right now. Everything about the build is pretty good except for our health. Kind of worried about the, the health a little bit here. Because we have two instances of money shot, so that's helping a decent bit right now. Kind of taking dumb damage sometimes. Dang. A lot of damage. Oh, there's a banana. I forgot it. Doesn't matter as much. It still matters because I lose max HP, but. Okay. Paycheck, gain crystals each island, so our economy is really good. Uh, upgrade, explosive enemies, and homing thorns. Sure. Gotta be careful. Because they, their explosions will definitely kill me. They'll kill each other, though. That's cool. Oh, whoa, oh, oh god. Yeah, those, those ice slugs are terrifying. Oh my god, yeah, dude, those ice slugs could... I mean, we have armor, so I don't think we'd get one shot, but those ice slugs have definitely ended runs before of ours. Oh god! I was wondering if that was gonna happen, if someone was gonna come the other way. Apparently the answer is yes. We lost, like, half of our health and the one armor that we had. Oh my gosh. What? Can I kill these enemies here? Okay, there we go. So we're getting money and damage every time. Um, bubble shot. Poison. <sighs> Take elemental. Game mode, every new area forced green totem. <laughs> Be definitely an interesting, uh, interesting little game mode modifier thing. Okay. My two turrets and my elemental cluster grenade. That'll carry us. Oh, jeez. Jumped out. Are you okay? And, uh. Hey, uh. Z Zero Zenith? What was that? I'm so confused. <clears throat> it's not showing up on my, uh. My thing? So, Zero? Thanks for following if that was you. I don't know who that was. 
Uh, fire shot. Poison strength. We'll just do poison strength here. A damage tally on the perks feel like a must at this point, but it might be difficult if the numbers are wishy-washy. Uh, gifting almost kills, or if the damage is appropriate. It was zero? That's so weird, because apparently they followed us 14 hours ago. Um, okay. Yes, sir. Hey, well, welcome, welcome. Okay, we gotta survive for 44 minutes here. Or, not 44 minutes. That would be a long time. 40 seconds. Definitely gonna get a lot of money doing this. As long as we survive this, which we should, we get another shop phase. And we've been earning a lot of money compared to the money we would normally be getting at this point. So, hopefully the shop phase will be good to us. Maybe there'll be a greed totem. Shh, I never. <laughs> okay, lost our armor. But we're getting a lot of money here, though. Lot of money. Um, damage increase when at low health. Shots are larger and deal more damage, but move more slowly. Honestly, yeah. I'll take that. Okay. <laughs> no totems. We have the bubbles, which can be enhanced. Uh, they cost 4,000 to be enhanced. Yeah, that's honestly worth it. Bubble shot has homing. Well, let's level it up then. And we'll up our fire rate up. And... More max health from hearts. Um, okay, that's about it. Okay, well... What kind of run is being planned? Well, we were trying to get as many greed things as we could. But, uh, second we started to do that, game hasn't showed us too many greed. So that might still be what we're doing, but also... We're just kind of creating like a crazy... Dude, these bubbles... The, the bubbles are so broken right now with homing now. Maybe that's the freaking highlight here. Dude, those bubbles are crazy. Heal after eliminating enemies, sure. Heart. Hearts are worth more now, too. Dude, homing bubbles. Homing level 3 bubbles. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, dude, these homing bubbles, I can just tell, dude, they're going to help me destroy uh, elites and stuff like that super easily. Also, oh my god, that was trippy. Dude, those bubbles are insane! Homing bubbles, probably one of the more OP enhancements I think you could get. I wonder what the percent chance is for the bubbles to come out. It is 44% chance. We tried bomb shot with homing. I think we have. The one that like summons bombs when they hit that legendary. I feel like that was like some late game build we've done at some point. Crystal combo. Enemies drop more crystals depending on our combo. Absolutely. Um, honestly, I'll get glue shot. Glue shot seems like it'd be good here too. Glue shot seems like it'd be very, very good. XL and elemental explosions. Okay. So now not only the bubbles kind of home. Dude, glue shot on this weapon seems insane. See, and it's just like sometimes you just really can't. I mean, not sometimes. It's roguelikes. I always talk about not being able to force builds, right? But it's like, dude, bubble shot's one of my favorite things. So like... If I had, if like, game had told me, hey, we're gonna give you, like, a really cool bubble shot build. You know, I'd be like, okay, cool. But, like, we don't know what we wanted or what we were gonna get. So, it's like, oh, maybe do greed, maybe do blah, blah, blah. But, like, that's what I mean. Especially with the enhancements, it really added a lot of uh, depth and replayability, right? Because, you know, you could do several runs and you, you may never, you know, it may take you several runs to, that was on me, several runs to... Find bubble shot, right? And then you're gonna need several runs to get the correct enhancement of homing on it. It's really, really cool. 
Anything with homing is great. Spark shot's great because you don't have to hit an enemy to get the effect. Yeah, homing is just one of the best, most OP things here. Uh, rig totems. Sure. Oh, is there? There's greed. There's greed. It's like, do I commit to it or I? You know what? I'm gonna just let myself be. I'm gonna just let myself be, and we're gonna try to do the greed thing next time. Because at this point in time, I have a fun build, right? If the game had given me a greed, I could have committed to that earlier. It waited until Island 19. It already gave me something I wanted. I'm already vibing over here with my home and bubbles. My home and elemental bubbles. Actually, we, technically the bubble isn't ele uh, homing yet. Or sorry, elemental yet. Boomst. Boomst is still... And then we have our two freaking sniper turrets as moral support. It's the sticky icky build. Never going to get over the fire tornado build. Oh yeah, we that that was like... We were like a literal god in that one. That one was insane. Uh, paycheck. Crystals after each island. Honestly, turret damage? Nope. We'll do glue shot. <sighs> okay. Been wanting to play Crab Champion since I saw your YouTube video like half a year ago. No PC. Yeah, definitely going to be uh, fun once it's on consoles for sure. Definitely going to be a while, to be completely honest. I would expect over a year would be my rough guess for consoles, if not more. Because I think, you know, they, they want a complete game before they focus on porting it. Dude, getting that one armor, if we have no armor, is so nice. Super nice. Sorry, we got some kids. My kitties both decided to come in after napping out there all day and both immediately trying to lie on my light. Crab Champions can run on a laptop. Just need to drop graphics. Yeah, the game's not too hard to run, honestly. Crystals, special delivery, paycheck. Absolutely. Don't really care about crit stuff here. The only thing that hurts the homing is if it gets like spiraling or something like that. Yeah, hearing those bubbles proc like rain in the distance. <laughs> it's a very satisfying build here. Definitely don't want any demolition because a lot of this is uh, elemental. The bubbles might help against demolition, but not something I want to uh, worry about here. Okay. Oh, geez, dude. Scares me always so much losing that armor. Dude, I love the glue shot on this. The glue shot on this really added a lot of very satisfyingness. Uh, that's a word uh, to this build. Dude, that grub slid so far away. Away from the lights. <sighs> Okay. Poison strength increased. Sure. Um, as much as I would love upgrade, I'm going to go two health chests here. Horde's going to get us a lot of money too. My health is still kind of the one part I'm not the most proud of here. Oh my god. atone for your sins what are you doing jojo what are you doing why are you being crazy you're being a bad boy you're being a bad boy mister you are interrupting the crab champions content you are interrupting the content you are not allowed to lie on the lights 
How many times must I teach you this, old man? There's a lot of enemies here. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm the most pro streamer, guys. Pro, pro, what is happening? Get me out of here! Oh, it was so peaceful when they were sleeping out in the other room. <sighs> okay. Heart. More max health from hearts, then we take the heart. That's why I opened up the other chest first. Uh, big shot, sure. Crystal totems. Bunch of crystals, but we hurt. Dude, our, our, the, these things are massive now. Okay, so we definitely want to uh, enhance this here. Bubble shot now has snaking. That's not very great. Uh, dagger arc. Piercing wave. Poison. Juiced. Wow, that was really good. That was really good. And welcome to the vivisectional and everybody else popping in here. We have an absolutely insane bubble build. I think the homing is still good. Snaking did hurt it a little bit, but no, nah, it's still good. Didn't ruin it though. This is it just destroys elites. Gemstone, yep. As much as I want orbiting scythes, damage increased after clearing each island. Heart. That's gonna That's gonna help keep us scaling here super well. Okay, Jojo. I'm gonna give you guys two or three more times and you're getting kicked out, Jojo. You can only interrupt my content so many times. It's like he thinks he's being sneaky. He always like sneaks onto the light. Like he knows he ain't allowed to. But I think he gave up. He got on my bed. He's looking around mischievously. Ramsey's, Ramsey's vibing though. Are you here hiding in the cave? Lee's bubble shot is uh, big where snaking's not the worst. Yeah. 100%. Big shot. Dude. <laughs> They're so big. I'm turning like these into bubble themselves practically. Oh jeez. There's, there's the armor. And the free armor we keep getting over and over is uh, is getting more and more valuable uh, thanks to um, thanks to us increasing our health. Dude, I love that we've turned our cluster bullets practically so big they're almost as big as the bubbles. Yeah, I think JoJo is giving up. He's laying on the bed. Um, fire rate reduced, um, yeah, fire rate increased every time we kill an enemy, sure. Oh, that was a perk slot. <sighs> Flawless health horde, sure. I don't think I need very many. Oh, <laughs> the turret scared me. Okay, flawless. We got this. We got this. I honestly forgot I had my turrets. The booger bomb rush. Oh no. <laughs> this is a very satisfying run. We did in fact flawless it. Um... Max health increased after every close range elimination, sure. Uh, more max health from hearts. And yeah, I think at this point in time we can go some spike chests. It's another horde. Gonna make the game harder. Oh, geez. That explosion. See, I still have so much of that armor left. Welcome, welcome, Chonky Cat. We are doing a crazy bubble, like, elemental build here. Extremely fun, and we haven't even looped yet. Can't even imagine what this is going to be like when we loop. 
Okay, lost the armor, that's fine. This wasn't a flawless or anything. Uh, imploding grenades. More damage, smaller radius, nah. And then we hurt ourselves. Ooh, triple shot, fire aura, dagger arc. Triple shot would actually be bad for us, I think, because we already fire more bullets at once. So dagger arc here. And uh, we'll do uh, we'll do random chest here. TTG, just curious, how did you become a streamer? Well, I have, uh, ever since I was a youngin', it has been my, uh, my dream to be a uh, content creator, like a full-time content creator. Um, and so I've been making YouTube videos on this channel for about 10 years. I've had YouTube channels before then. Um, and so I think like five years ago, six years ago, I tried to stream a little bit. That was when my YouTube channel wasn't popular at all. I was like doing gaming discussion. So the streams, I had like two, three viewers for like half a month a year, kind of gave up, went back to YouTube stuff. And I think about, I don't know, it's been two, three years since we've been actually, actually streaming for realsies and uh, kind of doing like the let's play stuff on YouTube, growing our channel that way. Uh, finding a little bit success with it, hoping to go full time at some point soon. Um, okay, I guess damage increase, uh, damage up depending on our combo. Um, I don't really think we need damage. If we had like the raw damage, that would be pretty nice. Like flat damage increase, because our damage keeps getting uh, buffed up. But uh, honestly, <coughs> excuse me. Our damage is so good, I don't think that's like necessarily needing to be the priority anymore. Dude, this build is so fun. Yeah, we haven't used the cluster launcher in a very long time. Technically increasing our max HP a little bit. We kill people next to us. It's mainly just mitigating some of the max HP we lose as we're taking damage. Mostly. Um, oh, I guess he died to a turret. <laughs> Oh man, a uh, chance to get an extra chest after uh, f clearing each island, cool. It's only a 15% chance, that's still really good here. Uh, fuse totem, bronze heart, perfect. Are you planning on staying a Let's Play channel? Um, well, I mean, for the most part, like I don't, I don't uh, plan on abandoning, yeah, gaming at all. I definitely want to expand like the variety that we do, right? So keep growing, doing more of the horror stuff, more of the random indie game stuff, uh, obviously roguelikes and FPSs. But we're constantly doing other stuff as well. Like if you haven't seen the TTG uh, Classics playlist, right? I'm trying to, especially as we get bigger um, and, um, you know, wanting to do so many fun stream events and stuff like that. Uh, and so want to keep doing more of that, want to keep doing more Neon Apes. If you haven't checked out the Neon Apes YouTube channel, where we posted our first ever sketch there. Uh, we got the, the podcast been doing for years as well, so uh, definitely plan to do a lot more stuff than just gaming, but, um, you know, definitely don't plan on abandoning gaming ever. Um, okay. Piercing wave is scattering. Dagger arc is chaotic. Piercing wave is damaging. Bubble shot has spiraling. Dang! So we got sneaking, spiraling, homing. But luckily the bubbles are big enough where they don't, um, aren't impacted that much. Just the bubbles could be a lot better. But well, that's okay here. Um, what is this? Crystals, chance to get a random pickup. Mag size increased. More max health from hearts. Okay, now I'll stop doing it. Because we did have some rig totems. Um, I'll just take one more heart. 3,000 HP. 3,000 HP. We're fighting the final boss here. Oh my god, dude. This build melts the enemies. Oh my god, this build melts bosses. Already, they're, they're, We already did it. We already beat the game. Obviously, we're going to loop this here because we got to see how, how, uh, how OP this could be. What percent is rig totems? Uh, rig totems is at 75% uh, more likely to trigger. That was crazy. Um, okay, lose some health, pick up, sure. 
Shot supply random beat debuffs. Reset all cooldowns and reload weapons when destroying destructible rocks. Okay. Cool, cool. And for our legendary ice explosion, enemies have a small chance to drop loot. Absolutely. The other thing was a poison thing, but you know we like more loot. Loot, loot, loot. There's no reason for me to take either of these. I'll take the armor. Okay, so let's loop this here. Okay. Loot can be OP. Yeah, the more the more items, the better. You can never have too many items. This build is so much fun. I'd love to see a SpongeBob themed mod for this game. Yeah, or it could be like a DLC, like the uh, didn't um, Power Wash Simulator got a SpongeBob DLC. Dude, SpongeBob DLC needs to happen for this game. Um, see, and then, right, if I ever actually get my, like, Monstera Leaf added to this game, which is a decent possibility will happen, then if, if Spongebob DLC came out, I didn't even look at this, this could have been one, one shot, and I could have just lost the run, um, but, uh, yeah, if I have an item in the same game that has a Spongebob DLC, that would be crazy. Time to email the devs. Oh yeah, no, I'm already in touch with uh, with with Noise Storm. He's an awesome uh, dev. Um, and he uh, he said he he he's played Brotato before and he loves my item in Brotato. Um, so I think he he said there's a, a decent chance. Obviously, he can change his mind. He's not obligated. Um, decent chance for us to get it. Um, he just said he's obviously not at anywhere near where he's doing content creator items for anyone right now. You know, there's some other content creators that I'm sure would get references like The Furnace. You know, pe more people like that too, so. Patrick flying at you would be hilarious. Oh, yeah, as the starfish. Uh, more max health from hearts at this point in time, yeah, versus it was offering me the um, uh, upgrade rush, sure. Uh, it was offering me. Oh, dude, horde on this is insane. We're gonna get. So we're at 72k right now. Um, I don't even know what I was talking about. All I know is we about to get money. I think the loot thing got dropped. Dropped one item so far. I need to look at what the percent chance actually is. I'm sure it's a very, very low chance. We're already at 100k. Rush gave us an extra item. Max health increased with close kills. So it is an enemies have a 1% chance to drop loot. That's what I was assuming. Uh, money shot, absolutely. Big shot, dude. I'm really going to make these little goobers. Like as big as I can. New boost, the loot drop. Chances, so every... Enemy drops 10 pieces of loot. Oh, you're saying if you get a bunch of them. Um, oh, oh, now boost. I thought you were saying like now it does that. Um, two spike chests. Sure. I just can't take any damage, but I have armor, so. I'm sure we'll be fine, dude. Like, how does anyone get past this wall of... Oh, okay. Well, he did. Away from me. Hey, we got one loot drop. So far, we've gained two two items. This is grenades do more damage, moving random patterns. Sure. <gasps> Spike chest, heal after eliminating. I'm going to say ice and damage nearby enemies every few seconds. We're not doing fire here. Critical hit damage, more sniper turrets. Uh, we'll take tasty orange. And I don't care about crit. Honestly, I think I could heal fast enough to get more spike chests. Probably not gonna be able to take both of these. But I might get enough healing, maybe. Oh, see, but now our armor is about to go away, so I don't actually know anymore. It's 
quite a lot going on. See, if I just shoot where they can come at me, there's no way we die. Right? Get out of my home! Dude, I keep taking damage to those energy rings. Yeah, we are definitely not going to be able to take either of these here. That is for sure. Yeah, I can't open up either of those chests here. <sighs> Demolition, nah. Uh, shrapnel luck chest. Okay. A little bit worried. This map is really hard sometimes. The more people we kill, the more damage we do. A lot of shrapnel. Dumping armor doesn't matter. The shrapnel's what scares me more here. Got one free item. Got three free items so far. The longer this run goes, the better and better that's going to be, obviously. Another free item. I'm, I'm taking a lot of damage, though. I, I honestly hurt myself quite a lot from two spike chests. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Yo, I am on fire. I am on fire. Hey, Calypse. Thanks for the uh, the raid. Appreciate it. Hope your, uh, your stream went well. Ooh. Jeez. We are on a looped run right now, so we're on loop two with a crazy... Like OP kind of bubble Torchy, elemental build, okay? uh, really really fun. Uh, Blakeinator, thanks for following as well. Appreciate ya. <clears throat> you gotta play this. It comes out full version on the twenty fourth, and the game needs better publicity. What were y'all playing? What were y'all playing? Um. Okay. Rig totems. Now I think totems have a hundred percent chance. Crystal dividends. A. Economy. Uh, but for those of you guys that don't know who I am, time to grind. Play a lot of roguelikes, indie games, first person shooters, horror games. Uh, I got a YouTube channel, all the Let's Plays come out on there. Everybody was saying Driller is good. Destroying destructible rocks, greater chance to spawn loot. I don't need any more rigged totems, so I guess we'll take Driller. It's a lot of money for that, though. Meta Ghost The Breaking Show. It's a roguelike, roguelike. Got all the right things in the right place, huh? I'll have to, I'll have to take an eye, uh, an eye out for it. Seems pretty cool. Uh, get an extra chest when flawlessly clearing a leader boss uh, island. Sure, piercing wave. Uh, dagger arc. Okay, I probably shouldn't have spent all my money because now crystal dividends is, is a little bit harder, but... Feels like Hades, but makes it cyberpunkish. That's cool. And the fact that it's very polished. I've played a, very, a lot of very not polished games recently, so... Yeah. I'll have to I'll have to check it out. Love me some good roguelikes. Okay. We wanna if we flawlessly clear this, we get extra chests. No, we didn't flawless it. I don't know what happened. Things got a lot harder all of a sudden. <laughs> we still do a crap ton of damage. There was just definitely no way I was gonna flawless that. Remember when we had over 3,000 max HP? We're sitting at 2,500, but there we go. Ugh. Bums me out because it's definitely my kind of roguelike. My algorithm should have proposed it to me. <laughs> I know, that that's like we just recently discovered a game called the Norp Apolog that came out in December last year, and I've been in love with it. It's not a roguelike, but it's a very fun game. And I'm like, how did I not notice this? Ooh, gemstone damage increased after clearing a child. We have three instances of that now. Heart, we're finally back over 3,200 uh, HP. It's pretty hype here. Ring of Pairing would benefit your playstyle. I know, yeah, a lot of people have talked about that before. Do uh, want to try that at some point. Okay, Loot Totem. I took 20% damage for taking it. Ooh, I love the snow uh, night maps. They're so magical. 
Currently running Norp in the background. Yeah, it's a very fun game. Episode 2 should be coming out soon on, uh, on YouTube. So for those of you guys got a little bit more time to get caught up with the series. We only have one episode, but... But I totally get uh, Galeeps. We've got a raid and run. Um, streaming do be exhausting sometimes. But I uh, appreciate you bringing your community uh, to me, of all people. Um, we, uh, we're playing a lot of this. we got uh, some uh, Cobalt Core at the end of the stream here, too. Uh, time Bolt. Chance to buy, uh, fire bolts that deal damage over time. Sure, kind of goes with what this build is here. About 15 before I go spend some time with the little wife. Hey, well, there you go. Just stay here with us. Uh, we're going to go sharp shot, flat damage increase. Very late for it, but we are still scaling up our damage. So um, flat damage when you have scaling damage. Very good. There is a hidden chest up there that we're going to be trying to find here in a second. And uh, yeah, we have a lot of uh, poison stuff. Our, our gun shots, they actually stick to enemies and do a ton of damage. Uh, our bubbles that we're spawning have homing as well. And uh, they are a big portion of our damage, I think. But we've also been just buffing up our damage in general since the beginning, right? Every wave. Like, we'll, we'll be able to see the exact amount here uh, in a second, but... What percent? Slipping and sliding. Hey, we got a free item here. Oh, that was epic, too. There's still more? Where? Aha! Okay, yeah, we gained 12. We increased our damage by 12% permanently. Okay, let me, let me, let me, arc shot, chance to fire in an arc formation. See, I don't think that helps us here. Because we're already firing multiple bullets. Some of those things can actually make certain weapons worse, I think. And we get teal and salvaging pickups. I'm a salvage that, oh. Wait, did I even salvage it? I'm going crazy. I did. <laughs> okay. We got two chests from another thing we have. Paycheck. Uh, sure. More crystals, every island. And crystal dividends, every island. We get crystals based on how many crystals we have already. We have 121,000 right now. Uh, we don't need health. I do not need health. Also, yeah, on top of all the permanent scaling damage, Tasty Orange is temporarily, every time we kill an enemy, temporarily raising our already high damage value even higher. So, this build is... Oh, wait, we can make the... Uh, spawn some harder enemies. Get an extra item here. We're freezing them all. Hey, got another extra item. So, we've gotten about six, seven items so far from that one legendary we got when we beat the game before we looped. The fact that we still keep getting one armor every time we don't have any. Super nice. We have so much health thanks to the max health scaling items. Crystal dividends. Uh, sturdy totems. Cost 3,000 crystals. What? Totems have more guaranteed uses before they explode. Oh, maybe, maybe you have to have the perk on you before it because also, I'm so confused. Chance-based totems are 125% more likely to roll in your favor. So how am I still losing? Glue shot I appreciate. How the fuck do I lose a 25% chance that I have increased by 125% chance? Fuck you. Fuck you. I don't understand how this shit works, man. Break totems, man. I... <laughs> It's the chain, it's the chance times that chance, 125% times 25%. So that would only be 60%. So, so I need more rig totems is what you're telling me. Money shot, cool. Uh, waves, we haven't done a wave in a while. 
Math is hard, y'all. Math is hard. Oh, I I'm honestly forgot we were on at waves. I'm surprised we didn't take any damage quite yet. Come here, Mr. Grub. That Grub I just killed right there, he was actually the founder of Grubhub. He got transported in this game. It was like a Sword Art Online kind of situation. He's dead now. If you have Grubhub installed on your phone and you look at it, uh, you'll notice uh, that it has been uninstalled off of your phone. If it's still there, um, then that means... Uh, I don't know, there's some sort of like lawsuit issue and that means that you have to buy my merch. That's how it works, right? That's how lawsuits work, right? Still not guaranteed an epic chest yet. Those sniper turrets sound so menacing. <laughs> Come on, just give me my epic chest guaranteed already. There we go. Dude, it's like the, the elites die so fast if we can actually get shots on them. Probably gonna take... Oh, I was expecting to take damage there. And we cleared it. Didn't take any damage. Shot price is discounted. I don't think that's worth the perk slot. Bubble Blast? You know we gotta do Bubble Blast. Cause the build is Bubble Build. That's like the highlight of this build. So you know we gotta get Bubble Blast on the grenade. Uh, we could do some more waves here, I suppose. If I take any damage. It's gonna be over here. I also love the way that this cluster launcher looks. Cause yeah, I don't know when it, it changed how it looks visually. But it looks nice. No, oh, sir. I want my epic chest here. Now we're guaranteed a rare chest. I don't want a rare chest. I want an epic chest. Whoa, hello there. Hello there, Mr. Shotgun Crab. If someone has a shield, I gotta go close. If I'm close to these people, they get absolute. Oh, damn, laser guy got us. Meaning all we got was the this chest here. We'll take bouncing shot. Oh, that's unfortunate. We're gonna pick up, lose some health. Salvage. We're gonna pick up, salvage. Okay. I'm not going to hurt myself too bad. Homing thorns, mirrored projectiles. Sure. What's the worst that could happen? Got one item. This is vi this build is so satisfying to look at. Okay. All okay. right. Lot going on here. I'm getting a little bit low here. Getting a little bit low. Okay, I gotta turn around, I gotta turn around. There's too much going on over there. The how, there is so, oh, what the fuck? There was like a, there was an exploding dude. And he, he exploded. Get off of my ass! Jeez, dude. I'm at 300 health! What the fuck? Oh, no, sir. Jeez. 
Jeez. And Crystal's one healing. I'm going to salvage that. More dashes. I will pay for that. Oh, I think we get shop guaranteed. Shop guaranteed. Hell yeah. Gain low gravity. Yeah, let's get low gravity. Uh, fire rate increased. Okay, okay. We're good. 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 And now we have low gravity. <gasps> um, fuse totem. Got two fuse totems. Salvaging both of them here. So many of rigged totems. We have, uh, we got six. <coughs> Excuse me, 150%. Random pickup, lose health. Shot shock enemies, I'll take that. Adrenaline. Oh, greed perk! Melee damage greatly increased, weapon damage is reduced. Nope. Glad we're not doing our perk greed thing. Dude, this build is crazy to look at. Low gravity, though. Okay, don't have enough health, greed. Gain crystals, lose some health. Okay, so now we're just hoping for some health. Because <laughs> I was very aggressive with this. Uh, big shot. No, it already broke. Are you kidding me? Heart. Bubble blast, juiced. Piercing wave is electrifying. Dagger arc is snaking. Okay. You need 16 to make it 100%. Okay, let's see. How fast are we going to kill? I'm low gravity. Oh, God. Low gravity actually kind of made this a little bit scary. I don't know why. There we go. That guy was being a trooper there for a second. Okay. Arcane Blast. Sure. Um, I really want that heart. But I'm going to go banana to, to heal. Kind of need some health. As much as I wanted that heart. I don't want to lose right here. Though I could have done that because we do still get the guaranteed one armor. So maybe I should have done the heart. Because that would have been a lot of max HP. One extra item. Yeah, now that we have low gravity, this build's very different here now. Very, very fun. I think I have made my things a little bit too slow. Um, I have made things a little bit too slow, but you know what? We have low gravity. We can just fly over the enemies. It's not like we're taking unbelievable amounts of damage. <sighs> okay. Go freaking high with this. Oh my gosh. I'm still up here too. Oh, because it resets your. That's crazy. Crazy, crazy. Salvage. Bouncing shot. Damage. See, what sucks is like when I have just a little bit of my armor left. Right, like what I do now, because we don't get the one extra armor back. Now we've lost our armor. This is so satisfying. The low gravity made this so much more satisfying. We got multiple bubbles. Especially now that we got our grenade bubbles now. Oh my gosh. Okay. Duh. Time bolt, sure. Nothing crazy. Damage up depending on your combo. I don't know. Luck. Just gonna do a strafe and run down the middle. And then we're gonna do a strafe and run down the middle. And then did someone order another strafing run down the middle? <laughs> 
Oh, again? Okay. I had to reload. That didn't count. That didn't count. Yeah, you can use the hammer to go up a little bit. But it also makes you go down. But I guess you could do that and then cancel it, but it still kind of makes you go down a little bit. Okay. Fire rate increased. Love that. So are there shards over here? It looked like they expired. Still a little bit confused with how that works. Um, <sighs> Driller, sure. Uh, demolition, nope. I will be doing no such thing as demolition. Oh wait, I, I, I keep getting my... Uh, I can't remember what, but I have a relic that keeps resetting my cooldowns. And that resets the cooldowns of the grenade, which is giving me even more bubbles. Dude, low gravity is ridiculous. Yeah, I'm using my grenade, like, way more often now. But I don't think the bubbles on that have been enhanced yet. I don't think we've been lucky enough to enhance that. We gotta see here. Still taking me a long time to kill sometimes, but I think that's also just because there's a lot of enemies sometimes, so... And our bullets are a little bit slow. <laughs> just a little bit slow. Yeah, see a zero? It resets... Oh, when you destroy a rock. That's what it is, yeah. Okay. Max health up on close range illuminations, I guess. Upgrade chest. I love just, like, literally doing strafe runs over enemies. Also, I'm trying to think. I think, ca yeah, cactuses count as rocks, I think. Which is why I end up getting my grenade back a, a lot. Just kind of a lot. This build is so pretty to look at. Ah. I, I, I hope that someday the hammer will bring you all the way down. That is my hope and goal and dream. He's just frozen. <laughs> and we're going to go get this item, which is po uh, poison strength increased. Love that. Um, more poison. Love that. Ele uh, demolition. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Just doing strafe runs I'm, I'm over the enemies. So I can also just kind of like be up here. Yeah, I think I can literally stay infinite in the air with what I have going on. I don't know if that's true though or not. But I'm not falling down, so. But, right, we have kind of limited range on our build. It just still takes so long, and I really do think it's because our, uh, our weapon is so short range. You know, and, and slow moving, which is, we, we did that to ourselves. And I'm loving it. It is just slowing down us doing all of this. Rig totems. Now, we are on our, uh, on loop two here. Okay, crystal dividends. Ramsey's looking up as if he's trying to pull the whole curtains down. Okay, shop. A free reign with the family 75 inch TV. So you are on the big, big TV. Hey, I was going to do some sort of bit. Alexa, turn the TV off. There we go. That's the bit. Okay. 62 K time bolt spiraling dagger arc spiraling time bolt scattering time bolt flaming. 
Uh, bouncing shot, glue shot, more max health from hearts. More max health from hearts. Bubble Blast! Yeah, we have not gotten a single enhancement on that Bubble Blast. Fire rate. More max health from hearts. Shops always contain something discounted. Poison shot. <laughs> Accelerating shot sounds interesting, but I don't want it. Okay. Okay, we're gonna do a strafing run over the elite lightning crab. And now over the barrel skull. Okay, 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 okay. We're on fire, we're on fire, we're on fire. I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. Oh, you were behind me! How dare. How dare you. A lot of chests. Key chest. Uh, now we'll go ahead and get drill shot, absolutely. And a bubble blast! We gotta take as many bubbles as we can. That gave us over a thousand max health. Just finished uh, Jojo Bizarre Adventure Stardust Crusaders. Hate that they hate the rest. They made Star Platinum look gay. What are you talking about? <laughs> what? Jojo has always been like extremely stylized. Ain't nothing wrong with looking quote unquote gay. Jojo is so good. I have seen all of the anime. Can you not turn my TV off? Uh, I would feel bad. Except you called Jojo gay, so... Just saying. Uh, small crystal, sure. Definitely don't think we're gonna do a loop three too, because it took us so so much time to get to this point. Uh, okay, gamble, snake grenade, no. Paycheck, cool. Still technically have. Well, I'll do a relic. Find something better here. One of my favorite things about JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Is that like there's too many animes that like just over sexualize every single female character in the in the show? Uh, I'm in particular, especially thinking of One Piece. I don't know if Oda has ever seen an actual human living female being in his life. I lo I, I well I was gonna say I love One Piece. I love the live action One Piece. I've not been able to watch One Piece because. Um, Pacing is so bad, but yeah, he does not know what a woman looks like. Uh, but that's what I like about Jojo, because at the very least, it's not only the females that are sexualized, it is also the males. It, that, that show is just like, we're gonna, we are going to make the guys look like giant behemoth beefcakes, and the, the, the women kind of stereotypically women anime, you know, but it's, it's, it's both ways. It's not just one fan service on one gender, it's just everybody looks sexy in Jojo, it's amazing. Um, okay, max combo increased is probably better than... Uh, honestly, at this point, extra chest when flawlessly clearing elite or boss, I don't need anymore. Because we're not looping anymore. Max combo up, so maybe we should get some more money and stuff like that. I don't like how they redrew platinum in diamond unbreakable. I don't even remember what you're talking about. But... <clears throat> I honestly don't even remember how you're talking about things look different. But, uh... Definitely, uh... Using gay as an insult in 2024! <laughs> Help it, gay! No, I don't know. Okay. I just also, I can't even retaliate good enough because I genuinely have no clue. I, I don't maybe I just haven't seen Jojo long enough. <clears throat> we need Beefcake Woman. There are definitely some Beefcake Woman in Jojo though. Whoa! Special chest here, what? What? Since when? Sharp shot? Okay. I don't remember that. I'll take it though. 
Haven't seen a difficult rock in a while. Uh, bouncing shot. Okay, we're getting close here to the final boss of our loop two. This build has ended up becoming absolutely insane, but I suppose most crab champion builds do that end up making it this far. Come here, Mr. Crab. Not Mr. Krabs, but just Mr. Crab. Uh, equalizer? Nah. Math is hard. Uh, fire rate up, sure. Random. Dude, and our damage has just been continuously infinite scaling this entire time. Let's see if I can just hold the line! Hold the line! We got an extra item. Beautiful, beautiful. I hear, oh god, I don't even know what just hit me. Oh, probably the lightning skull. There's just a single projectile that come and just destroyed my armor. Which honestly, I'm fine with that. My armor getting destroyed is totally okay. As long as it fully is destroyed so we can get one more full back. Is, uh, is very, very good. Okay. Uh, paycheck. Speed chest. This is our last, uh, last enemy encounter here for the final boss. Ooh. Ooh. So clean. Okay, Mr. Skull. Okay, Mr. Skull. Yeah, I bet the bit rate is uh is going crazy. Let's go. Okay, get rid of regenerator. Juiced! Juiced is juiced. I could get some currency over there. We are about 3 million currency. We're going to get even higher here by hurting ourselves just a little bit. Uh, 76,000 arcane blast has electrifying. Drill shot has damaging. So we were not able to get enhancements on the bubble shot. Uh, the grenade one here. That's fine. Heart, heart, armor, arcane blast, big hearts, uh, crystal dividends. Okay. Definitely have a lot of money, but that's okay. Okay. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, seven Mississippi, eight Mississippi, nine Mississippi, ten Mississippi, eleven Mississippi, twelve Mississippi, thirteen Mississippi, fourteen Mississippi, fifteen. Okay, about 14 and a half seconds. I was expecting that to go a little bit faster. That's why I was counting, but that's okay. Um, yeah, square shot. I just want to see what it looks like. Yeah, so sometimes we would just shoot a square. That Oh, that was the square. <laughs> Probably not very, very good. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, F12 auto collect. We're going to celebrate our victory here. And we've done it. We've done it. Uh, I don't know what we did. Uh, we, we got a win. We had fun. That's, is that enough? <laughs> I definitely had a lot of fun with bubble shot. Wish we could have gotten some enhancements uh, on the, uh, the other bubble shot. But either way, the bubble shot slung shot us into uh, really, really good build territory. And the fact that we were able to get the cluster launcher to kind of mimic the bubbles as well. Uh, so it was like we were just shooting a bunch of elemental bubbles, uh, elemental homing bubbles uh, was very, very, very satisfying. So if you guys are watching after the fact on YouTube, Hope you guys enjoyed, you know, make sure you guys subscribe, ring that bell like what the big boy YouTubers say to be notified when more Crab Champions videos come out. If there are some, they'll be on the screen right next to me uh, and uh, check out the playlist for all the other crazy builds we've gotten. And if you're going to be grinding out some Crab Champions on your own, then I wish you guys luck and see you all next time.